have a unique opportunity to make a very interesting interview about the voluntary disclosure program in Brazil. As you may know, the voluntary disclosure program started in April this month and will end at the end of October. There are many assets in Switzerland from Brazil, nationals from Brazil, clients which these assets are not declared. These are illegal assets and held in Switzerland and these assets are not declared, but now the Brazil government has started the voluntary disclosure program. And now we have a specialist, an international tax lawyer. We have Dr. Simões Bata from Sao Paulo. He will answer a lot of questions regarding uh, this program. Our law firm did many programs with voluntary disclosure. We helped clients from all over the world. We helped Italians and Americans, French people, German people, and now we are going to help also Brazil people, people from Brazil, to legalize their assets. I'm very happy to have Dr. Simoes Bata with me today answering these questions. Hello, Simoes. How are you today? Hello, Enzo. I'm doing fine. Thank you for inviting me. It's a great pleasure. I'm honored to be here answering some questions and clarifying some points of the Brazilian law. Thank you, Enzo. Thank you. What type of assets can be declared with this Brazilian program? Only bankable assets or other type of assets? Uh, well, and so the law is really eclectic. You may declare uh, lots of types of assets, uh, like apartments, cars, uh, but I think it's uh, specially uh, designed for bank accounts, especially in Switzerland. So bankable if, assets. Bankable assets. If the uh, Brazilian had an account in Switzerland, a secret account, a numbered account, this is a great opportunity to declare the, these assets, to legalize the assets, and to 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 have this uh, uh, opportunity to to sleep well because that, yes, it exactly. is a problem. Yeah. Exactly, it's a huge problem. You risk prison. So. Yeah. In order to avoid prison, you should participate. What, what the client has to do if he had assets before, but now he has not anymore these assets, but he has assets before, can he also declare these assets? Should he declare these assets? Or how is the situation if a client had assets before, but their assets are anymore, uh, doesn't exist anymore? Should this client participate or not? Yes, and so if the client had the assets, like a bank account in Switzerland in December 31st, yeah. uh, and he, he was a resident in Brazil, he was, uh, he, he, he was uh, com obliged to comply with the Brazilian laws. So he has to declare. The recommendation is to declare and to participate in the program. Thank you. And who can participate with this program? Which type of persons? Legal entities, physical persons? Can everybody participate or only people with the residents in Brazil, of course? Or how is the situation? Yeah, residents in Brazil, uh, uh, physical persons, legal entities, uh, and also uh, inheritance proceedings, they're able to opt for this program to participate in the program. Thank you. And what, how, how you have to proceed if somebody died? If you are an ear, if you inherited funds which are not declared in Brazil and you inherited such funds, what do you have to do to participate to participate to the program if you inherited funds? Uh, it's an interesting question, Enzo, because uh, the law uh, states that it, it is possible to participate if the person died. So now the responsible in Brazil for the inheritance proceeding may declare these assets and participate on, uh, with the RERCT regime. It's, it's a good the, option. Yeah, okay. it's possible. Thank you. And now a very sensitive question. Hmm. How about politically exposed persons? What, yeah, this... what they have to do if they work <laughs> for the government, if they work in the parliament, if they are exposed with the government, mm -hmm. so politically exposed person, what they have to do to legalize their assets? Can they participate or not? Yeah, you know, Enzo, that unfortunately Brazil uh, has a history of corruption and we are facing some huge problems in Brazil. So uh, the, the, the law states that if this person works for the government and have worked for the government, when the law came out in January 16th, unfortunately, he won't be able to participate in the program. Thank you. And what somebody has to do effectively, practically, if he wants to participate, what he has to do if he wants to file his voluntary disclosure declaration? 
What he uh, has to do? The, the, the first thing is to look for an international specialist who will analyze their case. Uh, it's a case by case uh, a, a scenario, so we have to analyze the case and then this person will uh, declare those assets through the internet. Uh, at the website of the of our, our fiscal authorities, and he'll legalize the assets. Thank you. You told me before that we, in our cooperation, we are not only offering the voluntary disclosure, but we are also taking care on his situation in the new year, in the uh, uh, starting from the first January 2015. It's also important to to legalize the situation of yes, the client yes. after the voluntary disclosure and to give him the right, the tax efficient tax planning with the right and the most tax efficient OXO structure. We, you offer also this type of... Uh, of yeah, I think uh, that for, for, this is also important. for the clients it's really important because the first step is to declare those assets and to pay, of course, the tax and, and, and the fine. But later on you'll have the following steps. You'll have to uh, have a very good tax planning uh, for those assets. And uh, these services are really important for the clients who will adhere to the to the HERCT. Thank you. And what uh, can a client amend his declaration? If he filed, he made the filing, he filed for the voluntary disclosure, and now maybe he he wants to change something. What he okay. has to do, the client, I can he change yeah. uh, the declaration after having done the file, after the after filing? He can do some amendments, or uh, it's if you have filed, it's filed and it's finished. No, no, Enzo. Uh, you know that this uh, happens in Brazil a lot. Uh, so sometimes the, the person who is going to declare, he'll find another asset later yeah. on uh, during this period. And the law states that it is possible to rectify the declaration and to include those assets. Yeah. And then you pay the difference and it's, it's done. Exactly. This is a very interesting point because in my situation, when I had many Italian clients doing the voluntary disclosure, the client did not disclose everything. He came to me and said, look, I have an account to disclose. Then two weeks later, he came again and said, look, I have another account. And then he came again, yeah, I have another account, another account. So that's why I'm doing this question, because it's a practical question, because the clients usually are very reluctant to disclose their assets. But you should take this opportunity and disclose your asset and legalize your assets. I will tell you one thing, you will sleep much better during the night if you have legalized your assets. So now the last questions, very important questions. How much costs such a procedure? How much costs the filing? How much money uh, the client has to pay uh, in terms of fines, in terms of taxation? Well, I think that the program in Brazil is really attractive because the law states that we have a legal uh, uh, rate of 30%, but the effective tax rate will be something around 21%, 22%, which is a good uh, opportunity to declare those assets and to legalize those assets. Thank you very much. If you have more questions such like this, if you have more questions, don't hesitate. Pick up the phone and give us a phone call. We are happy to answer all your questions. Pick up the phone and dial 0041 4404 and give us a call. We are very pleased to answer all of your questions. Be rich and remain rich. Have a wonderful day.